Right now, Florida is just sizzling with these record crushing heat, and that's already having destructive impacts on our local ecosystems. Prematurely high water temperatures are concerning scientists monitoring extreme weather events happening all over the planet, from our depleting coral reefs to the threat of another fish kill in Biscayne Bay. The climate crisis hits home as tonight's Don't Trash Our Treasure. On a sweltering July morning, marine scientist Colin Ford heads to the shore at Crandon Park Beach. Incredible. Extremely worried about the unrelenting triple digit heat indices that for more than a month have been smothering South Florida. I don't think we've seen this type of early heating this early in the year ever in recorded history. Ford is a coral biologist, co-founder of Coral Morphologic that hosts the Coral City Cam at Port Miami. Even for the super resilient urban corals that thrive at government cut, these surface temperatures are deadly. Louis, it's 94 degrees Fahrenheit in this water here. 94 degrees is just extremely hot. No marine life is going to be happy or healthy in water that, that is that hot. Corals begin to stress out when water temperatures exceed 86 degrees. In fact, Ford says that some of the reefs in the Keys are already experiencing bleaching when an ocean that's too warm causes corals to flush out the life-giving algaes in their tissues, turning them white. When a coral bleaches, it is starving. It, it loses its access to the sunlight. The coral can no longer photosynthesize, and basically it's got to live off of its fat reserves. And if that goes on until September, October, unfortunately, we could be looking at a massive coral die-off here in South Florida. Concerning because Florida's barrier reef has already lost more than 90% of its coral cover. And with temperatures this high so early on in the summer, Ford fears this could spell disaster. It means, you know, if, if bleaching starts now in early July, it means that by October, those corals are probably going to be dead. And that would be devastating to the Sunshine State. According to NOAA, Florida's coral reefs represent $8.5 billion annually in tourism dollars and jobs and help protect our coastlines from catastrophic storm surge during hurricanes. For climate activists, this yet another loud alarm that our planet is on fire. Our planet is screaming. Our planet is telling us, you're putting too much carbon pollution into my atmosphere and you are facing the consequences. Arditi Rocha underscores the need to act with more urgency, though we're starting to see clean, renewable energy being scaled to rapidly decarbonize our economy. We're not doing it fast enough. We need to reduce the amount of carbon pollution that is warming, actually cooking our planet as we speak. And Biscayne Bay? is also on the burner. Right now we are uh, 11.30 a.m. and it's 32.2. Uh, it's higher than expected uh, for this time of the year. At FIU's Institute of Environment, you see the signal to noise ratio is what Students and scientists are keeping a close eye on the bay. As with corals, these extremely high temperatures can trigger another disaster for the fragile watershed. If the bay is quiet and it gets very, very hot, yes, we could have some problem. In August of 2020, Biscayne Bay experienced an unprecedented fish kill with over 27,000 marine animals suffocating to death in the northern basin. A depletion of oxygen in the water column caused by too much pollution, no tidal flow, and scorching temperatures. We are hovering between 31 and 32 degrees C. The fish kill happened when we were about 36 degrees C, a, a little bit above that, so we need to keep an eye on it. Four research buoys stationed in different locations in the bay provide real-time data for 24-7 monitoring. What we're trying to do is create that early warning system. But it's only July, and scientists say we're already in the grips of the hottest year on record. You know, it's almost like our planet has a fever, and sadly, that's what we're seeing across all of these ecosystems. It's really a global problem, uh, but we're seeing the local impacts right here in our own backyard. Miami's already spent more time above a 105 heat index than it ever has in any recorded year. Since mid-June, weekly water temperatures across the Gulf of Mexico have reached record levels, and the Gulf is the warmest it's ever been. The Midwest, Western Europe, also in the grips of a heat wave. As scientists all over the planet hold their collective breath and watch what happens. 
If you'd like to monitor the real-time data coming in from the FIU research buoys, it's available online. We have that link for you. Just scan that QR code. It'll take you straight to the Don't Trash Our Treasure section on local10.com. And I hope people are paying attention because this is real and it's happening right now. Yeah, and so so sad to see what could happen. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, it's so hot outside and it's only I hate to say this, but we need a storm to cool those waters down yeah. to give those corals a chance. We do. We'll see um, what happens.